Coach Durkin from Durkin Fencing Academy. Today we're going to be working on first intention four. First intention means any action where you try to score with. An example of this would be a fast advance, a lunge, an advanced lunge, a double advanced lunge, etc. Today we're going to work on the basics of a first intention attack. Most first intention attacks are fast if they're one tempo, like an advance or a lunge. And if they're more than one tempo, like advanced lunch, they start slow and they end quickly. We're gonna go over the body mechanics and fork associated with first intention attack. And our goal is by the end of the 21 day challenge, that all of your first intention footwork is much stronger. Thank you and good luck with your training. This is Coach Tom. Coach Tom will be demonstrating our topic today uh, that you can do at home during our 21 day challenge. Our topic today is first intention foot tempo. First intention again is anytime you try to score. Footwork that you normally score with is a lunge, an advanced lunge, or a double advanced lunge, and we're gonna go over that today. Our first drill is going to be in first position where your lead heel is in front of your back heel, making it out in this position. Uh, student is gonna hop three times and land in a guard position. The important part is that your heels stay in line when you land and that you push out both your knees equally to store energy at the landing moment. Ready? Fence. Excellent. Now when he jumps back together, both heels together. Both heels jump together. One more time. Ready? Fence. Excellent. Good. Good job. Next drill is going to be very similar. It's a little bit of a coordination drill. Uh, Coach Tom is going to land 90 degrees to his dominant shoulder. So since he's right-handed, he will end up facing away from us and then toward me and then toward the camera every time he lands. Three jumps in first position, 90 degree rotation, land in on guard position, back to three jumps in first position, etc. Ready? Fence. Excellent, very good job. Okay, this is just an added difficulty, but it will give you the instinct to store energy equally, forward and backwards, and also giving you an intuitive feeling where your on guard position is. Our next drill is going to be a little more advanced version. We're gonna start in first position. After three jumps, we're gonna end in on guard position, bouncing on the balls of our feet, in a proper on guard position, then in lunge position, locking out our back knee, bouncing three times, back to on guard three times, back to first position three times. Ready? Fence. Excellent. Now, if this is too easy, because you've been doing this in class for the last couple months, if not a year, we're gonna add a slightly more difficult version. We're gonna rotate 90 degrees over our dominant shoulder each time we land on guard. Ready? Fence. Good. Let's try that one more time. Ready? Fence. Excellent job. This is a hard drill. Later, in future weeks, we'll add hand drills on top of that. But for now, we're gonna keep it pretty simple on our first day with four. Our next drill is going to now start working on our lunge. We're gonna deconstruct it into the three basic parts of the lunge. So, on guard position. When I say a one, raise the toe, one. When I say two, half advance. Good, keeping both knees storing energy. And when I say three, kick out the foot and snap the back knee. Three, good, and once from three, when I say four, you're gonna be pushing out all four points, balls of the feet and heels, and you're gonna use your back quadricep to recover. Four, excellent, let's put that all together. Ready, one, two, three, four. Excellent, perfect. And once you've done that five or six times, you can now go to the next part of this drill, assuming that your token lead first, we're gonna skip one and we're gonna go right to two. So two is a half advance. Ready? Two, three, four, excellent. Five or six of these, perfect. Next drill, we're gonna connect the preparation step in a first intention action with the lunge. That's important. Anytime you do something that's two steps, or two foot tempos, if you start really fast, do you think your opponent's gonna be in distance for you to score with at the end of that step? 
Probably not unless they make a mistake. So the goal of this is to be very slow in our first half of our advance, giving the ability to get close enough to our opponent, not to make them run away from us or counterattack, so we can still catch them with a back foot. So this drill, you can see if you have a sibling or you can count your head or a parent at home or a guardian, they can count one, two, one, two, three, four, or you can count that in your head for your first half advance. One, two, three, four. Notice Coach Tom's heel didn't even land until after I said four. Let's recover backwards. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And when I say five, relatively sharp back foot. Five. Stay where you are. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And if somebody's playing with it with you, you can do this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Come on back and reset. That was really good. Once you can do that, you can do about 10 of these. And it's very important that you just don't do 10 advances. Slow, quick, slow, quick, slow, quick. You're not gonna get any better at your advances if you rush through this. So it's very important that you break it down piece by piece. So we're gonna do one advance, and we're gonna have an active reset. You can either stand up, you can move your feet around, you can do anything you need to do, just so the next time you do it, it's as focused as possible. So let's do it, ready? Fence. Active reset. Notice Coach Tom is starting slowly, ending quickly, and it's a gradual acceleration of the advance. Ready? Fence. Active reset. Excellent, excellent. So now, once we've gotten through all this, we can jump ahead to attaching the preparation step to the lunge. Okay, so we're gonna deconstruct the advanced lunge. The first thing we're gonna do is a very soft half advance. Again, count your head again. One, two, three, four. Good, and now, when you decide to, five will be accelerate the back foot, and a sharp lunge, five. Recover, active reset. Good, we'll do it one more time. That was really good. Let's make it absolutely perfect. And the goal of this is twofold. Number one, that you have a soft front foot in the half advance, a sharp back foot on the second part of the advance. The lunge is fast, the end guard arrives in a neutral end guard, the same size you started in, and your toe leads first with the lunge. Your heel should not be leading first. Excellent, let's try it. One, two, three, four, five. Recover, six. Excellent, very, very good. Okay, so once you can do that, and that you could probably do six to 10 times, just make it as smooth as possible. If you could look at a mirror, if you have it in your bedroom or in your basement or wherever you're doing your fork, find a way to see yourself. If not, you can have a sibling or a parent do some video of this to make sure everything's correct. Next one, if you have a partner, which means a parent or a sibling that's healthy, that can do this with you now at home, you can now break this into two parts. One, the game is the clapping game. One clap is a soft advance. Uniformly soft, one size. Ready? Good, stay there. Second one, during the first motion, after the first clap, if there's a secondary clap, accelerate the back foot and lunge. But again, you're getting halfway through your first advance, even if the clap is early, soft. So it's just turning you to accelerate in the second half of the advance, ready? Clap to recover. Come on back, we'll try this one more time. That was perfect, but now I'm gonna randomize it. Poor Coach Tom has no idea what I'm gonna do. Let's see what happens, ready? All right, was that go? Yeah. First two were perfect, let's try it again, ready? Beautiful, beautiful. Here, good job, Tom. So you do this 10, 20 times, be playful with it. Make sure your advance is the same size. If it's soft, soft, or if it's soft, sharp, and the gate opens no lunge, very nice. So this is a very simple drill. Now the next kind of drill is a little more difficult. This is assuming you've been fencing for a while. If this is too hard right now, that's fine. But again, if you have a partner for this one, or you can just randomize it in your own uh, imagination if you want, we can make the default is advanced lunge, soft, sharp lunge. The override, if it's clapped before the halfway mark, the second clap would be just advance. So this would be an example of you premeditating a first dimension action and realizing you got the wrong distance and refusing to cross the boundary. Let's try it, ready? That's now the default. And the override is this. Perfect, got it? So now we have a situation where not only are you not intending to do a sc score and then deciding on the right distance and then finishing your advance lunch, in this drill we have the idea that you are trying to do an advance lunge, but you got on the wrong distance because your opponent did something you don't expect. You don't throw away your attack at a distance, you control your advance and maybe you can continue. 
Okay, great. Now we have a really good advanced lunge that's first intention. You're starting slow, you're ending quick, you're making the right decision based on what your opponent does. This is awesome. But we're leaving out one more thing. We need more than one first intention action. Advanced lunge is great, but we also need the ability to do a double advanced lunge. So, quick pause here and think. And this is information that might be part of a quiz, kind of fun. How does one get to a double advanced lunge? What fork would you have to be doing to allow yourself to do a double advanced lunge? And you might say, hey coach, I can just do a double advanced lunge. The answer is no. Because there's two steps in a lunge, three foot tempos. If you do all three foot tempos in a row, your opponent has to make multiple mistakes to arrive at a distance you could even score with that. So the answer is you have to be prolonging first intention, which is what we're doing today. And for our next footwork class, we have to be converting second intention to first intention to get to a double advanced lunge. We're not gonna talk about that today. So an example of prolonging from first to second is making a decision halfway through your advance and your advance lunge to realize you're too far to be able to score the advance lunge and prolonging in first intention to double advance lunge. So this is the fork we're gonna do before we do the tactical example. Fork will be one clap is you count in your own head or you don't need a clapper, just do half advance, count to one, two, three, four. Ready, fence. And when I say ready, fence, Coach Simon's gonna accelerate the back foot and then decelerate the front foot. Ready, fence. And when I say ready, fence again, he's gonna accelerate the back foot and lunge. Ready, fence. And recover. Excellent. If you come on back and reset, if you have a sibling again or a parent or a guardian that can help you with this, you can have them count out one, which is half advance. Ready, one. When I say two again, sharp back foot, soft half advance, two. When I say three, sharp back foot lunge, three. And when I say four, recover, four. Beautiful, come on back, Tom. Now you can have somebody play with the numbers. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent, come on back, reset. Now sometimes you might mess around a little bit. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent, come on back, reset. Another version of this could be this. One, two, three. Recover four. Excellent, very, very good job. Once you can do this, the double advance lunge, and again, you're trying to make the same size steps of the advance lunge for the double advance lunge. Now we can make a decision-based game to decide the right time to do double advance lunge. So the game is this, one clap is soft advance. Two claps, that soft advance becomes a double advance lunge. And three claps, it becomes a double advance lunge. Ready? And we reset, nothing's happened. Ready? We reset, beautiful, come on back. And the third option now is Beautiful. Good job, Coach Tom. This would be a great moment to do this 10, 15, 20 times and play with it. And it, gradually, if you keep working on this, by the end of the 21 day challenge, your first intention attack out of the box will get much better. It's all about consistency, same size steps, controlling the speed of the front foot versus the back foot, and arriving neutrally just before your lunge. Thank you.